George Edward Alexander Yedmond was born on the 20th of December 1902 at York Cottage on the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk, the fourth son of the man who would become George V and his wife, Mary of Teck. Unlike his brothers Edward, known as Prince of Wales and Duke of Windsor, Albert, later George VI, and Henry or Harry. Later the Duke of Gloucester, and his only sister, Mary, later the Princess Royal, George was Netwardian. Not a Victorian, his grandfather, Edward VII, was about to enter the third year of his nine-year reign when George was born. In a generally colourless family, he provided himself different in a number of striking ways, enjoying the playboy lifestyle. There was certainly something of the new age about him. Edward was heir to the throne, and in him rested the future and the responsibility also fell on the next brother in line, Prince Albert. In the War of the Windsors, royal authors Lynn Pickant, Clive Prince and Stephen Pryor reveal how Prince Henry and Prince George were almost not considered for any major role in the royal family. The biography also revealed how Bertie was not favoured well by his father, King George V. The book, published in 2002, explains that after the armistice and the unease of the first months of peace, Lord Stamford Haynes plans for the democratization of the royal family could be properly implemented. The book suggests, however, Prince Albert, Bertie, was unsuitable for public life, being afflicted with a stammer that caused naturally long pauses as he fought to spit out his words. Which, according to the book, he grew increasingly humiliated and frustrated as they stuck in his throat. Edward's two younger brothers, Henry and George were not really considered for major royal roles immediately after the First World War because of their age. Academically, Prince George was easily the brightest of the siblings. And, Princess Mary was never considered because she was a woman. After private tutoring and prep school, at 13 years old, like Edward and Albert, he was sent to Naval College in preparation for a career in the Royal Navy. Later, the King and Queen realized that their son George was surprisingly bright, they considered him to be by far the most intelligent of the Windsor brood. Henry, however, was a different matter, considered to be unrelentingly dim. They then began to hand over some of the royal duties to him. According to the author he was like an aristocratic airhead straight from the pages of a P.G. Woodhouse novel, 